What is going on guys? My name is Liam here and we are back with a brand new video. Um, I haven't posted on this channel in a little while. Uh, I've just been busy with college. Oh my god, I look terribly sunburnt and red right now. But I've been busy with college and I uh, just came home for Thanksgiving. So while I was at college, I've ordered a bunch of car stuff. Actually, not really a ton of stuff, just three things, but it was all like pretty not cheap. So these are wheels. These are not going to be going on yet. Uh, I've still got some tread left on my tires, so I'm just going to run that down. And then in a month or two, those will probably be on my car. So what we're doing today is this and this. So we've got new fog lights. Well, actually, I mean, they are new, but I don't have fog lights on my car at all right now. So um, these will just be an addition. And then I've got new headlights that are uh, more smoked and dark than the, uh, the stock ones are. And the stock ones are kind of hazing. So, yeah, I'm going to sit you guys down and open this stuff up for you guys. And then also, I would be doing this install myself, but I'm under a time crunch because I have to go back to college two days from now. So I don't want to, like, break parts of the clips on my car because you have to take the front bumper off to install the headlights and I don't want to break like a clip on there and then have to not be able to put my car back together for like a week and then I won't be able to drive back to college. So I'm just paying for somebody else to do it. It's not going to be too bad. So otherwise I totally would do it myself. It's not a super terribly install or super terribly hard. I'm going to start with the fog lights just because I haven't seen what these look like yet. I've seen what the headlights look like um, because I opened it to make sure they were the right ones before. But let me open this up real quick. All right, so this is by a company called, what are they called? DT Moto, Dream Team Motorsport. And yeah, that's, uh, I'll leave a link to all these in the description, the fog lights and the, um, the regular headlights, so. So these are the wiring that comes with the fog lights. Thank God, I don't have to deal with that. I don't know anything about wiring yet. Bubble wrap, so let me see if I can show you guys without it and bubble wrap. So that's what it looks like. It looks really clear on here, but it's uh, it's smoked and it's actually quite dark. So I can't wait for these to be on the car. It's gonna look nice. And I'll bring you guys along for the ride. It's probably gonna take a few hours to get it installed, but the headlights are in this big box right here. And then the wheels are in the white boxes, but I'm not gonna show you guys just yet those wheels. It's still gonna be a surprise. All right, so I'm only gonna take one out because they're obviously the same. So you only need to really see one side. So that is what they look like if you can see. Just they're basically the OEM headlights, just they're quite a bit darker. Uh when I say quite a bit, I mean quite a bit. Like they're at least smoked, so they're I don't wanna I don't know how to describe how much more darker they are. I'd say they're just probably two times darker than the ones that I have now. So yeah, so that's what they look like. I'm gonna go um, show you guys the headlights that I have in my car right now. I mean, they're just the stock ones, but um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I've also got this decal to put on them, and you'll see that in this video too, if I do it today. I might do it tomorrow still, but. All right, so these are the stock headlights I have that came on the car. Um, no, nothing special. They're normal, regular stock headlights. They're not dark at all, and then the side marker light is orange. I got the gray one. So yeah, and then this is where the fog lights will go. See, I currently have none on the car, so those will be nice to get installed. And then over here, yeah, there's just a bit of hazing. We cleaned it off and it looked pretty good, but the hazing sort of come, came back, so yeah. I don't know if I've shown you anything else. I mean, you guys know I put the stripes on, the red racing stripes down the side. Uh, you guys know about the tail lights. Haven't put anything else on the back. I mean, you guys know about the decal on the third brake light. I mean, exhaust, obviously. And then the Mopar badge, or the red Mopar uh, thing on the gas not, or gas cap door. So yeah. The only thing that's wrong with this car really is all over here. It's just absolutely terrible. There's destroyed. I don't even know what happened to it. I've got a really bad fade spot right here. Something up here, I don't even know. Really bad key mark right there. And like none of this stuff is gonna come out. So I'm not sure if I should get a new door panel and just get it painted or like, I don't really know what my solution will be for that yet, but I mean, it's fine for now. I could always Plasti Dip just this part down here. These like, those sills, the door sills. And then I, I don't really know. I'll figure it out. 
what do you, what would you guys think about a Mopar badge back here too? Instead of the Dodge, um, instead of the Ram head. I think Mopar badge would look pretty cool. Can't wait for these stock tires to come off as well. Yeah, I'll pick you guys up later when we get something done here. Wow. I just had a little bubble over there and that was it. Wow, nice. Look how li nice it lined it up. It does line up really good. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I, it's not hard to install decals. It's so <laughs> not hard to. I don't know why people think it's so difficult. So Lee am I gonna open a business installing decals? Well yeah. no, I actually he might wants do that. to decal yours all up. Oh I, well, I just want him to do something to his car. <laughs> it makes me sad because that car is insanely like moddable. Like you can literally put like 30% camera on it, take it to a drift track. If that thing was manual, forget about it. Okay. So you want me to drive by so you can see what the rims look like? In a minute. I'm going to let that okay. dry. chill for a second. Okay. All right, guys. Well, here it is. Here's the final result of the front end of my Charger. Um, 2008 Charger. We've got new headlights and side marker lights. These are like sort of grayish side marker lights. And then we got the fog lights installed down here. All of these are smoked, so it's pretty dark. I didn't want to get something like black because I didn't think it would look as good. And then for this side, um, we added a decal here. It's a claw hash decal, I guess is what it's called. Um, as you can see, we had a little issue with the installation, not too bad. Right here, uh, this little part got folded, but it's kind of hard to work with the edge here. And we didn't measure too. We kind of tried to go past the... Um, headlights which we shouldn't have done but we did that so and the bottom part came out perfectly fine so yeah i think it looks a lot better now i'm gonna clean the car up and uh get it washed and stuff but no the front end definitely looks a lot better if there's anything else you guys can think of that i should do to the front end i'm thinking a front splitter here right there with red rods that would look pretty cool too so yeah there's nothing else i can really think of to do i want to uh get some new spray nozzles these are really large and they're ugly so that's really the only thing i can think of for the front of the car that i have left to do so yeah um that's all i got for you guys for this video make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and let me know in the comments if there's anything you guys would else would like to see to my car I'm thinking about dropping some headers in it soon so maybe we can make it a little bit louder and produce a little bit more power so i know it's just a v6 but can sound like a very mean v6 so yeah see you guys later